Evolution of Computers The development of computers has been classified into generations. Let us learn about them now. First generation computers, vacuum tubes based computers. In the evolution of computers, the first generation was characterized by the use of vacuum tubes. It was built to solve physics equations using electronic vacuum tubes as the switching components. These used machine language. The first generation computers were expensive and bulky. The vacuum tubes did not support multitasking. Second generation computers, transistors based computers. In the 1960s, transistor based computers replaced vacuum tubes, which marked the second generation of computers. Transistors made computers smaller and cheaper. They also made computers energy efficient but were subjected to damage because of the emission of large amount of heat from the computer. Computers belonging to this generation used punched cards for input. They used assembly language. Third generation computers integrated circuit based computers. The integrated circuit based computers marked the third generation of computers. Small transistors were placed on silicon chips, called semiconductors, which increased the speed and efficiency of computers. The third generation computers were based on high level languages. Fourth generation computers, microprocessor. Introduction of microprocessors was the hallmark of fourth generation computers. They facilitated automation of industrial process and office. In about 1970, the technology was available to place thousands of integrated circuits onto a single silicon chip that made up a microprocessor. Microprocessor is compact and easy to maintain. It has a high processing speed. However, it has limitations on the size of data. Fifth generation computers, artificial intelligence. The fifth generation computers are under development. They are going to be based on principles of artificial intelligence and natural language recognition. This technique will be used to design robots. Functional components of computer. The various functional components of a computer are 1. Input devices, 2. Central processing unit, 3. Output devices. The input and output devices attached to a computer are called computer peripherals. Input devices. Data is accepted by a computer through the input devices attached to it. Barcode reader. It is used by a computer to scan and identify the product or item codes in the supermarkets, bookstores, and many other places. Magnetic Ink Character Reader, MICR. It reads the special characters printed using a special magnetic ink on checks, etc. Optical Mark Reader, OMR. It is used for recognizing a pre-specified space on a paper that is marked by a pencil or pen. It is used for checking the answers on the examination sheets. Central Processing Unit or CPU The Central Processing Unit CPU is the control center for a computer. It has three components which are responsible for different functions. These are discussed here. Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU The ALU performs all the arithmetic and logical operations within a computer. Control Unit CU The CU controls and guides the interpretation, 
flow and manipulation of all data and information. Memory Unit MU MU is that part of the computer where the data is stored and is accessible to CPU. The computer memory is basically of two types, primary and secondary. Primary memory Primary memory is the basic requirement of the computer. On the basis of volatility of storage of data, primary memory is classified into two types, RAM and ROM. RAM RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is a temporary memory. It is volatile in nature. It is the main internal storage area that a computer uses to run programs and to store data. It is also called read-write memory. ROM ROM stands for read-only memory. It is a permanent memory. It is a non-volatile memory. It is a built-in computer memory that can be only read by a computer, but cannot be modified. Output devices are used for getting information from a computer. Now let us learn about a few more output devices. Liquid Crystal Display LCD Projector Output from a computer can also be viewed on a large screen or flat surfaces other than the monitor using an LCD projector. Plotters These are the output devices used for making high-quality graphics, charts, diagrams, maps, etc. Plotters use an inkjet or ink pens to create the desired output on paper. There are various type of plotters available. The two basic types of plotters are discussed here. Flatbed plotter. The pen or the inkjet moves in a horizontal and vertical direction over a fixed horizontal flat surface on which paper is mounted. Drum plotter. It uses a drum revolver to move the paper and the pen or the jets of the ink during the printing process. The paper is placed over the drum, which is then rotated. The pen is moved along the horizontal or vertical direction to print the output. 